driving a car and driving an RUV are very similar. However, there are a few things in the Vegas you need to familiarize yourself with. So let's go inside, take a look at the dash control panel and see what all the knobs and switches do. With a very clean look, everything you need is within arm's reach and easy to operate. The display screen not only serves as the radio along with other entertainment options, but it doubles as the monitor for your rear view camera. A bank of four switches sit below, from left to right, fog lights, nightshade, press down to put it down and up to put it up. Your generator starter is in the middle, followed by your emergency start button. This button turns on your overhead cabin lights. These three knobs and two buttons control your heating and cooling. Fan control is on the left, temp control in the middle, and vent selection on the right. This snowflake turns the air conditioning on and these arrows recirculate the cabin air. Below that, a nice storage compartment for sunglasses or a smartphone that you may want to charge with the USB port or mirror on the display screen above with the HDMI connection. The steering wheel is where you operate your cruise control. The on-off buttons are on the left with resume, set and accelerate, and coast on the right. Select your gear with the stalk on the right, and if you are towing or hauling, press this button at the end to change the shift cycle of your transmission. Looking at the gauges, the tachometer is on the left with oil pressure below. In the center, at the top, are the fuel gauge and coolant temp with the display screen below. The speedometer is on the right with battery voltage below. Next to that is the trip meter reset stalk. You have two trip meters, A and B, displayed right here on this display screen. The stalk on your left is for your bright lights and directionals. Even though it shows wiper controls, this stalk is not active when it comes to controlling your wipers. For that, you have to look here on your dash and you'll find all your wiper controls here. Also on the left side, your headlight and parking light controls. This knob adjusts the brightness of your dash light and when you roll it all the way up, it turns on this LED courtesy light. On the armrest, you'll find the adjustment and heating options for the side view mirrors. For more resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.